Hello everybody, Marcelian here, back at you with another video and today we have my final conclusions on Retribution Paladin PvP patch 4.3 Now, as you guys may or may not know, I have been full haste, I have been full crit, I have been full mastery and out of all of this shit, I have just stopped at a kind of a hybrid between mastery and crit Now, I would still recommend haste, but uh, I would still recommend full on crit, full on mastery, but it really depends on what your playstyle is and uh, with what comp you are willing to go or with what class you want to play arenas with. So, going into my uh, reforging, I am on uh, mastery much, uh, much, much bigger than crit. I haven't neglected crit, it's just that when I play with my sub rogue, uh, the buff from Honor Monk Thieves. Uh, just raise it up and I have kind of like it gets to about 12 crit chance and 14 mastery which is really good <clears throat> now again I'm playing with a sub rogue so it's you know obvious what I what I'm doing it like this I have uh, 21 expertise this is from my glyph for my uh, seal of truth glyph I will get to that in a minute um, going in through the gems still strength is your primordial uh, stat you want to go for all right strength and then mastery now I have a lot of uh, strength and mastery just because after going through them all I feel most comfortable with this shit now I'm not saying this is the best and ideal shit you want to go for it just works fine for me and I definitely would recommend it if you play again with a rogue in twos or in threes um, so yeah, a lot of uh, strength, a lot of mastery, as uh, as you can see, and um, going through the enchants. Of course, for your head and your shoulders, uh, you can get your enchants from the honor quartermaster. Uh, you can buy them with honor. Then going on through the cloak, I have my plus 50 critical strike. Then to my chest, I have plus 20 total stats. My bracer has a plus 50 strength uh, enchant. Uh, my weapon, I have landslide, although I have another two-hander which has Perium and I have a macro to switch between them. This is like a quick tip, like <clears throat> for example you play arenas and you you know find yourself uh, an enemy team who has a rogue in their comp or warrior, or priest or hunter, whatever. Um, what I do, I start off with my landslide, you know, just to get the proc going and then I switch to my uh, Perium weapon uh, just to don't have that uh, long time uh, of disarm okay so this is what I do but if you don't have two handers I would definitely recommend you to play with Perium since you will see a lot of rogues uh, and priests out there uh, best go with the uh, Perium now moving on to my gloves I have 65 mastery enchant for my belt I have the ebon steel belt buckle which gives another slot for a gem go for it works really well uh, for the pants everybody know this shit you have a uh, dragon scale uh, leg armor for the boots you have I have a plus 50 mastery rating I have a PV trinket which I enchant I uh, uh, not enchanted I gemmed as well with mastery um, I, I, I used to have it when I was full on uh, crit uh, I kept it just to keep the critical but reforge uh, into mastery as well uh, so there you have it like for the enchants and the reforging and all of that now going on through the talents again playing with a sub rogue definitely requires you to be a crazy off healer as you are so it's this is the last word spec all right so i'm gonna go through this really quickly now we have three out of three in crusade uh two out of two in improved judgment two out of two in guardian's favor uh i have this Again, for playing with a rogue, uh, I need my cooldown for uh, the blessing of protection because sometimes shit gets hectic and usually what happens, 90% of the cases, they open up on me but then they switch to my rogue and he gets fucked really fast. So I have to have this on cooldown every time. It's a lifesaver. Uh, moving on, I have 3 out of 3 in rule of law, uh, pursuit of justice 2 out of 2. Uh, 1 in Communion, 2 out of 3 in Art of War, uh, 2 out of 2 in Long Arm of Law, um, Divine Storm, fuck that shit, uh, Sacred Shield, 1 out of 1 of course, Sagni of Battle, I am, I am not using this shit anymore uh, since I'm not full on haste, um, 
if you go full on haste, be sure to have this uh, this talent sanity of battle with judgments of the pure. Really good. Uh, Seals of command, one out of one. Uh, Sanctify red, three out of three. Now I know it's been nerfed, but think if you think about it, you have the six six percent chance. Um, you know, add it up to the crit you have reforged in, and with the buff from the rogue, you can get a crit. I mean, it's not like uh, worthless now if you spec a little bit in crit. Uh, and if that doesn't work for you, just uh, think about it as a nice uh, reduction for the cooldown on Avenging Wrath. Uh, Wings still gives a uh, sweet little buff to your overall damage, so don't ignore that shit. Now moving on, uh, Selfless Healer 2 out of 2, uh, Repentance of course 1 out of 1, Divine Purpose 2 out of 2, Inquiry of Fate 3 out of 3, uh, Arts of Acts of Sacrifice 1 out of 2, again I prefer this instead of this, uh, but if I was rolling with a healer I would definitely go with this, especially if I would go with a uh, Holy Paladin. And Zealot Tree 1 out of 1 of course. In Protection I went for the increased damage for my seal. Uh, and in Holy, I have like 2 out of 2 in Arbiter of Light, 3 out of 3 in Judgments of the Pure, since this shit doesn't do nothing for you, and of course, last word, 2 out of 2 insane off heals. Going on over to Glyphs. Uh, glyphs are basically, again, uh, I've made them because I'm playing with a rogue, so Templar's Verdict, of course, um, Seal of Truth for the Expertise cap, World of Glory for the 10% increased heals and in my major, majors I have my Hammer of Justice, you know, have bigger distance to, to hammer those fucks, uh, Glyph of Turn Evil, instantly um, fear a pet from a Warlock or a DK or even if you have like a DK who's Lichborn you can instantly fear him, it's really nice, uh, it's really useful uh, in PvP. Uh, then I have Glyph of Cleansing and I'm using this basically, um, we're playing now at above uh, um, around 1.8 MMR and we see a lot of mages and warlocks and shit like that and I constantly gotta cleanse myself so that means a lot of mana usage and it's really useful for me right now. I know I may be, I'm probably gonna switch this but it's good for now. And in my uh, miners, I have the Seal of Truth, the Seal of Insight, and the uh, Glyph of Blessing of Might. Now, this would be the talent spec would be different if I was playing with a healer. Derek. If I was playing with a healer, I would want not spec in the word, last word. I would spec in Improved Hammer of Justice and Acts of Sacrifice, maybe. Uh, if I was playing, for example, with a Disciplined Priest, I would still go on with the uh, Guardian's Favor, because sometimes. Priests get tunneled really hard, so this would be a really good. But if I was playing with a Holy Paladin, let's say, or even with a uh, Shaman, Resto Shaman, I would go for this definitely. So it depends really on your the comp you're playing. I'm talking about twos. If you're playing in threes, uh, basically if you have a Rogue and a Healer, uh, I would still go for the last word spec. If you had like a uh, let's say DK or Warrior and this priest or holy paladin definitely going to improve hammer of justice it's it's really it really depends i mean if you get a team working and you play a lot with them it's basically you have to experiment with them and see what goes best for your team right now i have been through all the specs again i have been to a lot of uh, arena comps i haven't find my three team yet still searching for that shit but in twos i know a lot of people say that twos doesn't don't matter yes they don't but I'm thinking of it like quite good exercise for threes. Like you, you playing twos really gives you good experience in situations where you can learn from and you know get your PvP uh, experience up. So um, you know go for it. You know it's proper good training. Fuck it. So yeah, guys, I think that's about it. Uh, this is the you know the first video for the, the new channel Marcelian Online. Um, if you find this shit useful, uh, please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up, uh, add it to your favorites, uh, leave a comment. Um, if you have any questions on what spec you should go for, depending on the class you're playing with or shit like that, please leave it in the comments below. I would gladly give you an advice or an opinion uh, on that shit. And yeah guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thank you for all your support. Peace out. Enjoy the fucking games.